Hello everyone, I'm John and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'll show you how you can simulate the field of view of your smart telescope or any camera and telescope setup easy using astronomy tools and compare also with Stellarium. So you may notice I'm here in Stellarium and I've been using Stellarium to find and simulate the field of view for some time now. However, last time I did a mistake and I got the field of view for the Dorsey telescope wrong. And I do want to show you here in the settings how easy it is to make a mistake in Stellarium. For example, the correct uh, number was 4.3 millimeters on chip height and I entered by mistake 5 instead of 4. And this was the result. And you can see here the field of view on my first try. But the correct field of view was this. Bam! A huge difference. And it was close with the dwarf tool. So here we have the dwarf tool field of view. And here we have the Sister S50 field of view. So you can get correct data here in Stellarium. However, you must make sure you enter the correct width and height on the settings page. And we'll go now to the Astronomy Tools website and select Fourth Calculator. Here we'll select Imaging Mode and we'll select the target, Messier 31. We can select custom scope or uh, select a telescope from the list. Dwarf lab, dwarf 2. It's here, however, the resolution is wrong and also the pixel size. So we can leave basically custom scope if we want and just go here, enter the correct resolution and correct pixel size for the resolution. That is 1.45. Perture will not matter and focal length. And uh, to be able to get the correct field of view, we need the correct focal length, the correct pixel size of uh, our sensor and the resolution, the image resolution. After this, we'll select Add to View. And here is the field of view for the Dwarf to Smart Telescope. We can see 3.19 degrees by 1.6 degrees. We'll change the focal length to 150 and here pixel size will go 2 microns because we have a, uh, we have larger pixel size with the new sensor. Now we can add to view and this is the field of view of the new Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. A little bit smaller than the Dwarf 2. We can see it here. We have 2.93 by 1.47 degrees. Now let's compare also with the Sistar S50 that has 250 millimeters full HD resolution and 2.9 pixel size. Select Add to view now. And this is the field of view of your Sistar S50 telescope. And let's say you do have other telescope, not a smart telescope, and we want to make the same uh, comparison. We'll enter here my Maxotov telescope that has 1500 millimeters by default. Then the resolution of the camera. So this is the IMAX 571 monochrome sensor from my TubeTech Astro 26000 KMA camera. I've captured the moon in 6K resolution. And this is just a single exposure of the moon. I will uh, probably make a video how I capture the moon at super resolution using this camera. We have pixels of 3.76. We can enter here a custom telescope or camera. I've entered the Tupte Castro monochrome camera here, add equipment. And camera successfully edit should be available soon. We'll close now. The field of view is smaller than the Sistar S50 now. Well, this is how you can easily find out and simulate your field of view using Astronomy Tools Field Calculator. You can see here also the image resolution, field of view, and also focal ratio if you enter the aperture and focal length. A lot of useful information. I'll still be using the field of view option in Stellarium when we'll use this application. However, if you are doing this for the first time, I think it's easier and less likely to make mistakes using astronomy tools. If you are already using this to simulate the field of view, please let me know in the comments which one you prefer more. And if you did like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. It will help the video. And if you'll join the channel membership, you'll be able to have access also to my photography data and I do want to give a big thanks to all the members that joined the channel membership and are currently supporting the channel. Thank you all and I hope I'll see you soon in my next videos. 
And if you want to see also the review for the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope, when I will receive it, don't forget also to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hope I'll see you soon in the next videos and until next time, clear sky.